It's a Coq de Leon. Cheech's toys. Matthew's actually been uh, busy with some of those hen saddles. You know what I mean. Were they synthetic? <laughs> Is this unlocking? Okay, we are at Whiting. It's the pro staff rendezvous, and we got old Lancer and Brandon with us. And just, you can't see this right now, but we finally got a wind sensor for our microphones. So, win-win. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go check some stuff out. We'll be here for the next three days. Oh, what do we got going on here, Brandon? I'm looking for fancy feathers. Francy Feathers. Francy Feathers. Yeah. yeah. Not every day you get the old uh, chance to just, shop directly. I think I'll just take a bucket of silvers. How's that sound? You're probably cool with that. Yeah, I think I mean, it's not free, so you're going to buy it. Oh. All right. Never mind. Yeah. I'll take I'll take like three of them then. Coach Brown. Coach Brown. Got all of them. Hey, pasa, güero. Aquí estoy trabajando nomás. Deja de hinchar las pelotas tanto. <laughs> We're with our favorite friends at Whiting. They do all the work. So, if you've ever bought hackle, they were in our just last come video. through this desk. You guys are famous now. En los YouTube's. En los YouTube. <laughs> Famosa. So, what are we looking for? Midge Platinums. NBD. Not bad. That's tasty. It's a variant. <laughs> oh. It's going off anyway. Yeah. That's the way to do it, man. Oh. oh. Yeah, maybe. That one just might be going home with us. Okay, no. We're gonna have to fight over it because remember we're not splitting hackles anymore. No, we are. Okay. <laughs> we'll split saddles. Yeah, we'll split saddles. Everybody is all checking out the dry fly hackle. Brandon's over here looking at the good stuff. Look yeah. at that. Killer. Coke de Leon. I think I can tie your saddle. Maybe a couple Perdigones with a like two Perdigones, <laughs> maybe, maybe like three or seven. Some humonguses. Fourteen. It's got some wicked bronzing in it. I think I'll take all of them. Yep. <laughs> well, we can we'll bring over the humongous pro. So so far I've been I've selected this one. Yeah, speckling looks awesome. This is the silver and this is a uh, bronze. Dang. But there's so many of That's them. That's the real stuff right there. Oh, that one's even better than the one I just selected. It's just darker. Yeah. Good humongous length. All of these will work for humongous. You won't need very many wraps. They're maybe a little bit stiff. But they're going to be perfect for tails. This one's bronze, you said? Yeah, this one's bronze. This one's silver. Look at the shade on that one. Yeah. Check this out, mini bird fur. So this is kind of like your chickaboo style pelt. Baby fat minnow stuff all day long. Mini bird fur. Well, we're wrapped up from our buying spree. It's hard to try to find stuff that you haven't already seen here, but there always is something. Lots of cool variants. So that we can Talk about going to our Mexican restaurant today. This is my buddy Big B. Hi, I'm he going some Mexican food. He likes Mexican food. It's gonna be real good. Hurry up. I'm hungry.
drive a Ford. That's what's going on. I hope it doesn't break down. Hey, Lance. Everybody comes to grips sometimes when they drive a Ford. Yeah. Watch, watch this. Watch this together. majestic mount. Yes. Find your nearest service center. Yeah, but what are we going to do today? <laughs> we get to look at feathers, but Lance has to drive a Ford. Watch out. He's going to... He's not going to be... Hey, so, howdy, Bart. How you doing? <laughs> Y'all, boy, you got them 35s on there, yeah, huh? Yeah, 35s. Well, I borrowed this truck from my buddy, and he's kind of short, so uh, he got, compensates for a big truck. You got them pedals. You can get them up to your feet, right? Well, I'm sitting on a phone book and a pillow. Shit. Well, she's going to work all right. Yeah, have fun fishing. As long as we treat like a can, we'll be okay. just chilling out here on the river you got dudes back at whiting looking at chicken feathers and lance is somewhere catching like a bazillion fish i'm just here by myself just you know catching some butter bellies and stuff like that check it out butter bellies look at that pretty colors thanks fish well just Still chilling here in this canyon, catching brother bellies. It's pretty cool. I'm doing R and D for Whiting Farms while the dudes are fondling feathers. I'm using 4B hen capes to put them on red darts and catch big fish. See, take a look. Oh hi, brother belly. I hear you like red darts with Greenwell or Granwell or that reddish colored 4B hen saddle. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Right. Hey guys, still can't find my friends. I think they're still looking at chickens. So, uh, trying to make friends with rainbows now. See, this is my new friend. Hi, rainbow. Hi, rainbow. Want to be friends with me? Tight. I said yes, by the way. All right, I'll let you go. Hey guys, guess what? I found Lance. Yeah, Lance Egan. Tied. Maybe he'll give me his autograph. He just lost a fish. What a noob. Oh, I'm still catching brother bellies. Really pretty brother bellies. Look at that. Hey guys, it's Lance Egan right there. Maybe I can get my autograph. Guess what? That's a butter belly right there. Caught him on a double red dart rig. Caught him myself too, so that's pretty cool. Hey guys, I think Lance finally caught a butter belly. It's pretty cool. Caught like infinity of them though already, so just so everyone knows. It's got this fancy scooping stick. It's a pretty sweet opera, brother. Tied. Hey, Lance. Sweet walleye. <laughs> he thinks it's a brother, brother. This is obviously a perch. These guys. Hey, squad. Still here just fishing with Lance Egan and Fly Fishing Team USA. I think I might join the fly fishing team, kick everyone's buttocks, because I'm still here just wrecking butter bellies. Maybe Lance should try that red dart fly he invented. So I just go, hey Lance, you should probably put one of them red dart fries. And fish. Weird. I guess fly fishing team kick your buttocks is the ultimate team because we just we're just giving coaching advice to Team USA right now, saying hey yo, that fly has got like a red butt and some pretty sweet peacock dubbing on it, stuff like that. Represents Guido. Them trotsies like it. Hey guys, you want to see the ugliest brown I've ever seen in my entire life? Beautiful. 
Ball. All right, you dinguses. You're missing the fishing, and you don't have a cool hat like this with a bent brim. Here's what you're missing. Almost brown. We got here because Lance and Brandon, which you've seen in the previous footage we just edited in, yeah. went fishing. They went fishing and got back late, took shower, really long showers. No, no. One shower. One shower, <laughs> one shower, two guys. Wait, 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 wait. One shower each. <laughs> but we're here with Pat Dorsey. We've been hanging out at Whiting. So what, what was the coolest thing you saw here? It's hard to explain this experience. I mean, it, but from the start to finish, it's just been unbelievable. I enjoyed the, the chicks hatching and the tour, and I, it's just mind-boggling. So tell us about that saddle that you posted on Instagram. Oh my gosh, I mean, that's the most amazing saddle I think I've ever put my hands on. Yeah. I'm, I'm torn with just keeping it, or I think Tom would want me to tie flies with it. So, you know, I, I just feel like I, ha I have to tie with it. It's just beautiful. Sometimes I sing to mine at night. Oh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, it's been cool hanging out with you guys. Likewise. And, it's been cool know, hanging out with you guys. We're here at the it. Whiting Pro Staff Rendezvous 2018. It's been fun. Can't wait for the next one. Right. All right, so we got a nice platinum grade midge saddle. So this is platinum grade chicken leg. Free range, Whiting Red Label Rooster. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> we made Lance get the four B's. Chewy, it's probably a cock yeah, you, you need to see that in the camera. Wait, what? <laughs> Said if it's chewy, it's probably a cock de Leon. They're tough. <laughs> yeah, Big B was sitting right here. And guess who's the first to go back for seconds? Not Cheech. He's going in for three pieces of chicken. Strong work. <laughs> Yeah. Pass the baton. <laughs> oh, okay. So we finally put Curtis to work. This is the hardest he's worked in months. I love ice cream. Oh. Yeah. You want ice cream? Sure. Okay. Of course. He's forcing ice cream upon the poor people in Dr. Whiting's house. Twisting their arms. I'll take one more. Thank you. That's All right. right. We just had to document Bill, it. Yeah. Oh, no, but seriously, oh, folks. Oh. Oh. oh, yes. Hang on. There it is. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my it's awesome. It's like last time. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. And they all have is the blue pea, which is the uh, freshwater streamer line, grizzly. I make wet fly lines are blue. <laughs> A very sophisticated system. The Hoffmans are red because Henry Hoffman used red um, packaging material and we carried that on. It's called the red label by some people. There's uh, greens in here, but we got a broken egg. There's a little crack in that one, it won't ever hatch. Huh. It, it cover up, that compromises the uh, integrity of the egg and it dehydrates and things, weird things go on. But you see all the little eggs, some of them get very small. This is a white Yokohama, which is a kind of an Imperial Garden Japanese breed. This is a red shoulder Yokohama. I raised those. They have nothing to do with the fly tying line. I just like them. And uh, so anyway, they go out every, every day and twice a day they collect the eggs. And we transport them up here. They come in here. Eggs can be stored about a week. 
So this is like two or three chickens. Um, we got my dry fly hackles, my wet fly hackles, and my meat chickens. Anybody can do this. You just need a 5,000 acre run. Circle K, this is Circle K. He's the best rooster I've found in many years, really. And he's best because he has, on one bird, the best cape and saddle I've found for the year. And that's very unlikely. Normally I find a, you know, there's a lot of birds with good necks and a lot with good saddles, but when it comes to breeders, when you find basically the best on one bird, that's sort of a lucky thing. So we call him Circle K. He's actually number 5,078. I, I batted 5,078 roosters. Because I started with one. And what it is, is he had a great cape. I uh, turned like a dream, very good sizes. And then he had a saddle, but I've cut off the saddle because we trim it off, because the females will just peck it off. And he was a mid-saddle, about as nice as I've ever seen on a saddle. So he's from the narrow line? Yeah, he's a mid-line rooster. So what I do with him is he's got an assortment of different colored hens. He's going to do a, a wide tour of different hens because he's a superior male and then we keep all the females out of him no matter what they, color they are. You should just name him Cheech. Oh, <laughs> but he's so much more delicate. <laughs> you can see him, and he's kind of mean, but you can see how long this cape is. And uh, so right now he's on other uh, selection of an assortment of different um, mid-sized birds. So there you go, buddy. You notice how the females go to the back because he sort of trains his own females to get away from me because he wants to get between us and his hen. That's his job. We also have some birds that have escaped. Hey, come here. Did you let one out, Lance? No. I let three of them out. Two there and one there. Whiting is fun. Big B and Lance got to go through. What do you so, guys think? It's pretty amazing. Lots of birds. I think anybody can do this as long as you got 5,000 acres and some NASA boxes. So, <laughs> that make chickens grow. So there you have it. If you have 5,000 acres, some big boxes, you just kind of put birds together and they make little birds. Some yard birds.